That's Leaping Lanny Poffo, the genius, on the way to the ring. We weren't expecting to start this off with Poffo. We were looking for his opponent, the Birdman, Coco Beware. tonight he's a brilliant man you know I'm, I'm honored to be in the presence of the world's smartest man the genius and tonight the world's richest man Chess Flexor oh. I think Raven might have something to say about the smartest man you know he's a member of Mensa Green announcer Chuck Roberts making his way back to ringside as we're set to kick off this opening bout at Night of Legends leaping Lanny Poffo aka the genius Crowd, Dombrowski. And there's the Birdman! Coco Beware with energy and excitement on the way to the ring. Doesn't seem to have his longtime mascot, Frankie, but I don't think Coco really needs Frankie to help him win a wrestling match, does he? Uh, I don't know, he might. He is in there with the genius. Arguably the smartest man in the world, but inarguably the smartest wrestler in the world. Oh. Well, Coco Beware is all about fun and having a good time. You gonna get up and do the bird, Mayor? This is maybe later, Joe, maybe later. I'm still pondering the depth and the insight in Leaping Lanny's poem. Oh. It actually brought a tear to my eye. Well, he was talking about the wrong guy. Did you notice that part? Yeah, I think he's playing mind games with Coco. He's making Coco feel insignificant. He, 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 wrote, he wrote a poem about Hulk Hogan. Right, because that's going to get in Coco's head and say, this guy doesn't think so little of me that he's not even going to mention me in his poem. Oh. Well, it's, could, it's above you, Joe. Could, it's, I, could I have some psychological ramifications? Real high-level brain stuff. You wouldn't get it. Well, we'll see. But Coco B, we're happy to be here in Franklin. And how's he be kicking off this opening contest? The fans seem to be pretty decidedly behind Coco, at least from the early, uh, early indication I get, but the match hasn't started yet. Any psychological advantage that Poa may have garnered, I think is right out the window. Yeah, we might be right, mainly because Coco's probably a little too dumb to even get the poem. Oh, I don't believe that. I do. Is he gonna leave that bird hat on while he wrestles? He is not. You think that's made of real bird? No. Coco, always uh, famous for having a flashy hairstyle, flashy ring attire. Wouldn't expect anything less from the Birdman. Now, do you have a favorite memory from each of these guys, Dombrowski? Well, Coco, once the music cranked back on, Coco trying to direct some traffic here before action gets underway. I think he wants Chuck Roberts to do the bird. No, no, 
not going to happen. No way. Chuck may be a little tense for this. He's got to do it. Well, Chuck has escaped the views for all six of these legends tonight. Except for the time he punched Kingdom James, but I think that his luck is running out. Uh oh. Yeah, we're getting down in Franklin. I think Chuck's enjoying that a little too much, Dabrowski. Chuck's going to need to take a Xanax to recover from that. <laughs> wow. And just like that, the psychological edge that Lanny Popo may have gained with that poem earlier on, not going to happen anymore. Although, Gogo needs to worry a little less about the referee, about the ring announcer, and a little bit more on his opponent. Well, that's for sure. It's going to take Chuck an hour to get his hair Coco back the way it be was. be careful not to embarrass his boss out here in front of 1,500 people like he just did. That's a good point. If we don't see Coco Beware back in IWC, I think we know why. What do you make of those pants Coco's got on? They're awesome. I love them. Oh. About the only thing about Coco I love, but I see. Leaping once a handshake, I don't think we're going to get it. A left-handed handshake. You talk about favorite memories of these gentlemen, leaping Lanny Poffo, the Birdman Coco Beware. Who could forget Lanny Poffo as the genius managing the late, great Mr. Herbert Kerr Hennig? Who forget, could forget him managing the Beverly Brothers? Kind of a name is Beverly anyway. Who could forget all of his matches in the mid-80s, really helping bring in a high-flying style into professional wrestling, into the mainstream? He was one of the very first men to use a moonsault in the national stage. Actually, both of these guys are pioneers in, in that respect. That they were uh, high flyers, and you know they may be up there in age, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see a little high flying tonight. Coco, the native of Union City, Tennessee, before his days in the World Wrestling Federation, competed in the PYT Express in Memphis with Norvell Austin, and moved on, of course, to become the Birdman, and he still got that rhythm. Who could forget Coco's entrance at WrestleMania 3? Who could forget high energy with the late Owen Hart? Coco, of course, a WWE Hall of Fame. That's right. Inducted last year by the Honky Tonk Man, another legend on the show tonight. Absolutely true. Bell's finally sounded. We're officially underway. Of course, Poffo comes from a wrestling family. His uh, father, Angelo Poffo, unfortunately passed recently, and Coco slipped right out of the side headlock. You might say Coco was outsmarted the genius. I, I disagree. I think the genius let him slip out so he could turn that outsmarting right around back on Coco. Of course. I think it's pretty much impossible to outsmart the genius. Just accept it. Game of accept it. psychological one-upsmanship. Before this matchup, Lanny Poffo with one of his world-famous poems, the Poet Laureate of Professional Wrestling. Coco Beware down here, dancing uh, uh, just as much as ever, getting everybody to do the bird, including these fans, and uh, Chuck Roberts as well. I saw you give me the bird earlier, but that was something entirely different. That's right. Don't you forget it. Oh. Oh, okay. I think Lanny needs to uh, cinch that headlock in a little bit tighter. Kind of uh, upset Coco to come out here a Pile Driver. Coco sung the title track on Pile Driver, the wrestling album, too, back in 1987. That's right. Yeah, well. Leaping now as Coco back into the corner, hammering away with the right hand. You remember who the star of that Pile Driver video was, don't you? It was Coco Beware. No, it wasn't. It was the Honky Tonk Man. In the pink Cadillac with Jimmy Hart and yes. Peggy Sue. The star, don't you forget it. Well, there were a number of individuals in there. Arnie Skolan was in a porta john What do you want from me? Coco Beware boxing the ears of Lanny Poffo. 
Alpo's in big time trouble. We're not going to see that agility from either man, as you mentioned, that we once saw. But they have the know-how. And Coco sends Poffo out of the corner, landed hard on the back, and it's all the Birdman right now. It's like that song, I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. Just because these two are a little older in age than uh, they were whenever most of these fans saw them in their prime, doesn't mean for a big night, a special night like Night of Legends, you're not going to see some aerial tactics. You never know what you're going to see from these legends. Such a diverse group of individuals. You mentioned the Honky Tonk Man, Brutus of our Beefcake. For the first time in the history of, uh, of Franklin, Pennsylvania, some extreme legends here from ECW as Raven takes on the franchise Shane Douglas. Talking to Raven earlier today, he referred to Shane Douglas as the French fries. I don't see any respect there. Wow. That's going to get ugly, that match. And we're just getting warmed up, Dombrowski. It's going to be a good night. Lanny Poffo dictating the pace here. Rocky Grove High School was packed to the rafters, Joe. You gotta believe Poffo not begging off here. He's trying to lure Coco into something. I would give the size and strength advantage to Poffo. Wait a second. I give another advantage to Poffo. Some kind of object in his right hand he just pulled out of his trunks. That's bullcrap, Dombrowski. What? He was adjusting his trunks. It happens whenever you're involved in athletic activities. You wouldn't know. What are you trying to say about Mr. Poffo? He was adjusting himself. Let's just oh, leave it at that. I see. Poffo using something, just dug it right into the eyes of Coco and hiding it in the back of his trunks. I'm not so sure about What's that. What's he adjusting back there? Why, his trunks again. Why can't you just oh. give a man credit? Why can't you give credit where it's due? The genius has the clear advantage. Does he? Stick a fork in Coco as far as I see. I will see about that. Punishing Coco Beware, keeping this matchup grounded, and again with that foreign object. Again, a smart strategy. Like I said, Coco's the aerial master. To keep the action right there on the ground is probably the best thing that a leaping Lanny Poffo could do. Wear him down and then go hit one of those aerial maneuvers of his own is what I'm predicting. And why is Lanny Poffo wearing a t-shirt? I wouldn't put it past me or past him and a metal plate under there. You never know. You never know. If he did and he's hiding it with a shirt, I would consider that quite intelligent. Again, he's the genius. He is. You know, we were talking about how excited we are to see Leaping Lanny Poffo, the genius, the world's smartest wrestler, the Rick, and not just the world's smartest wrestler, the world's smartest person, I believe. And in a little bit, chest flexor, the world's richest person. Joe, your thoughts? Uh, chest flexor is a, a sad case that is beyond hell. Hopefully, though, the jealousy and the envy is just dripping off of you. You would like to have a bank account just a fraction of the size of Chess Flexor. Flexor's in dreamland as it is. It may take a million dollar dream to snap him back into reality. One can only hope. I'm excited to see wrestling superstar Virgil. I don't know about you. Oh, Virgil's one of the greatest legends of all time. I hope he finds that Nurgil guy and knocks him out. Uh, you know, you and your Nurgil. Look at Top, though, again, digging into the trunks. Can't see what the object is. He's keeping it concealed from everybody. Fans listening. Our monitors are official, and of course, Coco. Could be a roll of quarters, could be a sharpened piece of metal. Or it could be nothing. It's not nothing. Well, what's he digging into Coco's face now, then? It's his fist. Oh. It's a wrestling match. Which a close fist is illegal. Was, Poffo hiding something else. It was his palm. Oh. <laughs> it was an open-handed slap type oh. of maneuver. That was not in any way a slap. Oh boy, how often do you change your story? Glenn Beck's probably a big fan of you. Did you see Coco just tap out? He did not. It's Co wrapped up. Coco's not going to quit on your life. Poffo with the reverse chin lock, cutting off the blood supply to the brain via the carotid artery. These idiots clapping. Coco's done. Stick a fork in him. What's wrong with clapping? Trying to give energy to Mr. High Energy himself, Coco Beware, but. Oh, and he's back up. I gotta admit, I'm surprised. Coco elbows his way free. Puff 
Puffo, too much weight. Puffo dropped on top, got a near fall. I told you, Puffo has the size and strength advantage in addition to the intelligence advantage. Another knockdown, another cover, a near fall. Almost got the win, did leaping. Does he prefer to be called the genius or leaping Lanny these days? I'm not really sure. I think uh, they they go one and the same. Each, uh, each persona was a master of poetry, master of the human game of chess, so to speak, to uh, coin a phrase from another of our legends scheduled tonight. Coco got to get back up to the vertical base here to alleviate the pressure. Right hand by Papo. Second time. What Coco inside oh, cradle counters the slam, the cradle but near fall. Papo keeps himself out of harm's way. If only for a moment, but Coco Beware has some momentum right now. Can he follow through on it? Never count the genius out. Remember that. Swinging neckbreaker by Coco. Thought he might have been going for the Ghostbuster for a minute, but instead of swinging neckbreaker, that might be a slap in the face to Honky Tonk, but Leaping gets the foot on the bottom rope. I'm going to have to make sure Honky Tonk Man knows about that. Coco and Honky, two Tennessee natives. They go way back. They do. They do indeed. Now, is that a tribute or an insult? We're not really sure. Tribute to the Honky Tonk Man, at least. Very well could be. Honky inducting Coco into the Hall of Fame. Both Coco and Leaping Lanny had the same idea in mind. They knocked each other down. But if neither one is up by 10, we have a count out. I just said never count out Lanny Poffo. Well, we're going to try right now. Coco tapping out again. Did you see that from Browski? Coco's tapping the mat. He tapped out. He, he's not even in a hole. Coco's doing the burn here. He's trying to get himself revved up. The spirit of Frankie is right by his side. And Coco with the right hand. And Popo, I think he's running out of gas. But enough brains to get out of the way. Coco went to quicken the temp tempo. And that would have spelled lights out for Popo. And Leaping Lanny's going oh, no. up. This is where he's most dangerous, Zabrowski. This could be the moonsault. Leaping Lanny Popo. He hits the moonsault for Coco. Coco got a knee up. To anyone who doubted that Leaping Lanny still had some aerial moves, what do you have to say now? Beautifully done by Leaping Lanny Popo. And give me credit where it's due. Coco had enough wherewithal to get his knees up. But was that all Leaping Lanny had left? No, a reversal. Coco, DDT, Popo's down, cover, Coco gets the land. I'm disappointed in the outcome, but wow, I impressed. What an opening match. Leaping Lanny Popo after all these years, breaks out the moonsault, but Coco beware was a step ahead, got the knee up, got the DDT, and the Birdman is victorious in our first of many wretched bouts tonight. And it's time for all of Franklin to celebrate by doing the bird. Put your arms down, Zembrowski. You look like an idiot. Dancing the Coco, kids. Everybody having a great time. Franklin, Pennsylvania, 9 11.